Who is Big Bagel Labs? We are Freddie, Corey, Sophie, Ben, and Caitlin. And together, we have over 10 months of experience in OB theory research. Today, join us as our team tackles the crucial issue of job satisfaction among employees of the Seattle Bagel Bakery. We've spent weeks developing solutions, and it all boils down to this. Seattle Bagel Bakery is located in the heart of Tequila. They pride themselves on their less conventional kettle boiling process, which differs from steam ovens and results in their unique bagels. Despite its commercial success, Big Bagel Labs discovered that their repetitive and monotonous environment of the packaging department led to low job satisfaction. Big Bagel Labs set out to remedy this. Now, it may be helpful to start out by asking why the heck job satisfaction is even so important. Well, lucky for you, Big Bagel Labs has got you covered. Let's start with explaining what job satisfaction even is. Job satisfaction is the literal satisfaction that someone experiences in their job. That being said, job satisfaction can be best understood through the job characteristics theory, which identifies how your work varies through five core job dimensions skill variety, task identity, task significance, autonomy, and feedback. Job satisfaction not only affects the employee, but the organization as a whole, and research has shown that low job satisfaction has some horrible consequences. Low job satisfaction can drive absenteeism. High job satisfaction leads to low turnover. Job satisfaction also relates to organizational citizenship behavior. Voluntary activities that are outside someone's job description, but still helpful for organizational effectiveness. Not only that, according to Professor Benjamin Amick, more satisfaction leads to improved physical and mental health and saves money through reduced healthcare costs and improved productive time at work. Thanks for the help, Ben. Really appreciate it. Now, how do we actually measure all of this? Well, thanks to Hackman and Oldham, once an employee completes the job diagnostic survey, we can calculate the motivating potential score, a measure of a job's potential to foster intrinsic motivation. Now, let's dissect this formula. Notice how we're taking an average of skill variety, task identity, and task significance, and then multiplying that by autonomy and feedback. That is to say, autonomy and feedback will have a larger effect on one's overall NPS. It would also be very remiss if we left out the impact of listening. Not only does listening have an incredible impact on leadership emergence and reducing burnout, it has a 0.48 correlation with job satisfaction. To start, we toured the facility, observing the processes and employees at work. We chose to focus on the packaging department, as we observed the role of the employees in this department was very monotonous and repetitive. This led us to believe that job satisfaction in this department may be unusually low. We then got some one-on-one -on -one time with a few of the employees to really get in their heads and see how they felt about their roles at the bakery. This job in and of itself is soul sucking. You come here, you work for eight hours, and what you do vanishes. And there's no confirmation that it did anything. You never see any benefit. All you've got is your paycheck. And it's like, okay, well, I'm coming in, I'm doing the same fucking thing every day. It's like, well, what, what does this do? From these interviews, we confirmed that job satisfaction was low and that it was a serious problem. But we wanted to irrefutably establish that job satisfaction was low. To do this, we turned to a motivating potential score survey. The results of this survey revealed an average score of 92, which is 36 points below the US average, clearly showing a low job satisfaction. It should be noted that several of the employees are doing quite well, with MPS scores near or above the national average. However, the overall trend is towards low satisfaction. Now that we had proven that employees at the bakery in the packaging department had low satisfaction, we set about figuring out how to improve it. The interviews and MPS survey had revealed that out of the five core job characteristics, skill variety and feedback were the lowest. Therefore, we created three solutions to boost these categories. The solutions were rotating employees from the packaging department to a retail location at least once a month to improve both skill variety and task identity, 
a weekly email to employees relating employees' performance and company news to improve feedback, and a suggestion box that would be open once a month and discussed in a meeting to again improve feedback and communication. We chose to have more solutions focusing on feedback as it is more highly rated in the motivating potential equation. Armed with these solutions, we created a survey to see how employees felt about our potential solutions. To wrap up and review, we set out to find out how Seattle Bagel Bakery could increase its job satisfaction, which we measured using the job characteristics model. Freddie's work experience suggested that low job satisfaction is one of the underlying causes of counterproductive behavior. From our initial survey and interviews with Zach and Dan, we learned that there are a significant number of operational problems, but perhaps more importantly, a lack of feedback and skill variety. Our solutions would need to address these issues in particular. With this in mind, we narrowed down potential solutions to job rotation, a weekly email from management, and a suggestion box. We created surveys to ask employees directly what they thought of the solutions in terms of feasibility and effectiveness, and ask them to pick their favorite option. Before we talk about results, we want to mention that there were some limitations to the study, the main one being that we were limited in our sample size due to the small number of employees actually working at the bakery. This also meant that we had to survey some of the same people that we had interviewed, which potentially created a bias towards our solutions as we had based our solutions on insights obtained for the interviews. Another problem we faced was the feasibility of our solutions as we found that it was easy to come up with solutions to improve job satisfaction, but generally these solutions were not realistic as they were too costly. Now, here are the results. When employees were asked to rank solutions on feasibility and effect on their own job satisfaction, a clear winner emerges, the suggestion box. It received the highest scores of 73 and 84 for both feasibility and job satisfaction. The weekly email is the next most feasible and effective, and the least feasible and effective solution is job rotation. This solution would have helped resolve the low skill variety characteristic within the packaging department. However, employees thought it was very unfeasible and not effective. They still rated skill variety as quite low though. This may mean that employees are simply unwilling to make this switch, an important variable to think about when implementing potential redesign solutions. Both the higher scoring solutions help resolve feedback issues, which confirms our earlier hypothesis that feedback was the most important variable to change. It also ties back into people's need to feel listened to. The suggestion box best satisfies this need and increases feedback as well. Finally, let's take a look at our bagel chart, which denotes employees pick for their favorite solution. The suggestion box is a clear winner. And from Big Bagel Labs, we present to you this suggestion box solution. It increases employee feedback and also gives employees an anonymous way to voice their opinions, feel listened to, and provide an additional communication channel between employees and management to resolve operational problems and improve workplace productivity.